New at 9, a local man who works security at Atlanta's 1996 Olympics is speaking out about the Richard Jewell movie. It just came out this weekend. It's been 23 years since the Centennial Olympic bombing during the 1996 Olympics. CBS 46's Melissa Stern sat down with that man today, and he has quite the story. The movie about Richard Jewell, the hero who was falsely accused in the bombing, came out this weekend. I spoke to a man who says he will never forget what happened here that day, and he also showed me pictures from his firsthand experience. It was a great party, 24-7. The tone of the 1996 Olympics held at Atlanta's Centennial Olympic Park changed halfway through when three pipe bombs went off, killing two people and injuring more than 100 at a free concert. The bomb went off about 1.30, so we were all getting settled back in. Joe Grimaldi was working the protection detail for the Olympic basketball team, the Dream Team. That's Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley. They had just gotten back to the Omni Hotel a couple hundred yards from where the bomb went off when they heard a loud boom. Well, the bomb was it was tremendous, and we saw everybody running. Grimaldi was at Katrina, 9-11, and the 1996 Olympic bombing. An ordinary person thrown in extraordinary circumstances. He's planning on seeing the movie Richard Jewell that came out this weekend, as he wants to see how it's portrayed. He was just an ordinary guy thrown into an extraordinary circumstance, and the media roasted him. Security guard Richard Jewell discovered the bomb. The sirens and the amount of ambulances that you would see come and go that it was a mass casualty situation. He started an evacuation and saved lives, but eventually became a suspect after a local newspaper ran a headline naming him as a possible suspect. Terrorist Eric Rudolph was actually behind the bombing. He carried out three bombings after that. He wasn't captured until years later. We have to remember those that, that were lost in these situations and circumstances. Richard Jewell died in 2007 of a heart attack at 44 years old. Reporting in Atlanta, I'm Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.